Today we are in Newcastle, New South Wales, Australia, and we are visiting the West Track Technology Experience Centre. So let's go inside. This place is the first of its kind at a Caterpillar dealer. They have all sorts of fun stuff in here, like underground mining simulators, the latest in remote technology. <clears throat> but what we're here for is this the remote operator station and we're gonna give it a go. To give everybody a brief rundown here, this remote operator station is controlling a 320 excavator 400 meters away out in the dig pit behind the West Track dealer. TJ is out there with some cameras, so we're gonna show the footage of the machine in action. They're getting it squared away here, so they are uh, energizing it. They have the e-stop for safety and we're about to get going. According to the experts on the internet, <clears throat> this technology here is really stupid. But it has a purpose. It's not to replace day-to-day -day operation. It's mainly for operator safety. So if this machine was building a tailings dam, which is very dangerous because the machine can sink or doing demolition in a precarious place or up against a high wall or underneath a conveyor or digging nuclear waste or in a very dusty condition or hot work, you can go down the list of applications that are potentially very hazardous to whoever's operating this machine. And this system allows them to be out of harm's way temporarily while doing the work. So yes, you can't get the feel for the machine and you're not getting shaken around but you don't necessarily need that in these applications. This is for those dangerous applications. Get the machine operator out, get the work done, and then be on your way. We've got the machine going. As we said, it's a few hundred meters away, but technically you can sit anywhere in the world and operate that machine so long as you have a really good internet connection. Basic mechanics of this setup here, we have the seat with the joysticks, exactly the same as you'd have in that machine, foot pedals up in front of him. He has a keyboard and e-stop over here, but in front is the, the main bits here. We've got two, TV screens showing different video feeds from the machine and outside of the machine so he can see exactly what he needs to be doing. On the left screen here, the left lower screen, we have cat grade control so he can be digging to a design. He can see exactly where he needs to be from a grading standpoint. And then on the right is your typical cat screen showing uh, equipment information, payload, all of what you would see in the cab is right in front of them right now. To notify people out by the machine that this machine is being remotely operated, there are blinking lights and the light that says, hey, there's nobody in here, but it's running is the blue light. So out there they can see that blue light and to know that machine is under our control currently. There's somebody out there with a big red button that can press it at any time, which kills the machine. And we also have a big red button here. If I were to press this, it would kill the machine. So that's basically how roughly the technology works from a safety standpoint. Okay. So boom up. Oh. Uh, boom down. Yep, uh, bucket in. Yep, okay, and then you stick in. Yeah. Key to it is just to be smooth. Yeah. So you, you don't want to be doing like jerky movements, all nice and smooth. Okay. Nice smooth operation. Because you've got a latency of about 20 to 60 milliseconds. It's not super noticeable, but that little bit of latency means that these little jerky operations are not going to control the machine nicely. So okay. just nice, smooth operation. So go down to the middle here somewhere, and you should, that tilt should automatically adjust. If it's not, we just have to press that bottom button to turn the tilt assist on. Yeah, that's it. Now just pull that stuff. 
Oh, there we go. Nice. Like a pro, mate. Yeah, there we go. You're gonna have to take over my role, I think. I, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> First impressions, I'm not a very good operator, so my impressions aren't very valuable. <clears throat> but it's actually quite, quite good. There's, you said a very small delay, and you can somewhat feel it, but not really. That's what she said. I was just able to grade a slope, bring it down a little bit, cut some material, put it over here, and then I'm now grabbing this material and putting it back on the slope. I'm trying to be very focused so I don't roll their very expensive machine. But I've never rolled a machine before. I have rolled a machine before. Now a word from our sponsors. Is there a horn? Questions? There is. Hey, the volume's Yeah, I just want to see if it had a horn, and I have confirmed it does have a horn. It definitely has a horn. <laughs> it feels like a machine. You just, you obviously don't have the, the movement, but you don't, for something like this, you don't really need it. <clears throat> you can also operate this machine from this command station, park the machine, and then we could walk out there, get into the machine, and run it like it's a normal excavator. You wouldn't know the difference. That cab in there, same cab, exact same machine, runs like a 320. So you can do this or you can run it like a normal machine. So one of the main use cases Caterpillar uses is this unloading company. They use these loaders, um, like 930 size loaders in the bottom of barges on the Mississippi to clean the last little bits of the barge. So they'll pick the loader up, put it down in there, clean the last little bit, that little bit up, pick it, put it back on the shore. But it's only like a 30 minute job. So someone, one person can sit within this command station here and flip between different loaders up and down the Mississippi, depending on what barges are where and what needs to be cleaned out. So rather than five operators operating for 30 minutes and then just waiting, you can have one sitting here and switching to different machines throughout the day, more productive. Doing a little cleanup. Usually I don't usually I don't clean my mess up. I just make the mess and then let you clean it up. Okay, that concludes our visit to the West Track customer technology. Centre, if you are a customer, mining customer, construction customer, you can come here and check out the latest and greatest in technology. Look up West Track to find out more. And thanks to West Track for having us out. We'll see you next time. <laughs>